Hi, I'm Mike. And today as we continue weaning the calves, we're moving the calves from over there to over here. It's really not that far, but it can be a bit of a process. It's coming up today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome along and thanks for coming along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Once again, uh, we are going to be working with cows today as we head into the Thanksgiving break. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be a very quick, uh, short and sweet type of video as long as everything goes according to plan. Uh, and what our plan is today is to get these calves that are over here, they're all up there in that upper corral, our plan is to move these calves from that upper corral into the trailer and then across the road we're going to put all these calves all 110 or so of them uh, in with the uh, the horses and the steers across the road it's going to make it a lot easier to feed them and basically our our main goal here is to put some weight on them as we uh, we're not going to be selling them quite yet so over the next month or so we'll put some weight on them and then uh, then we'll have them ready to go so let's take a look at these guys here really quick see what they look like and that's obviously not a calf but that is a cow there with a limp you can see the limp that she's got where she's dragging that uh, right rear hoof our goal with her is actually we're going to move her in with the uh, the empties and then that way she can hang out with them and then uh, hopefully she'll get to feeling better or we'll end up having to get rid of her with that limp. I'm really not looking forward to keeping her around this winter. So, all right, so here's what we've got going on over here. This is the, uh, the upper corral is usually what we call it. This is where we're keeping these steers for right now. Uh, I've been feeding them in a, in a ring feeder and then also been spreading some hay for them because there is quite a few of them in here. Uh, but this is really too much too much confinement for them. We want to make sure that they've got a little bit more room. Uh, so we are going to move them across the road. Over there we'll be able to use the new Hustler equipment uh, bale spreader. Uh, use that to, to put out a bale of feed for them correctly. Uh, with their weight the way they're at right now, they're going to eat about one bale per day. So we'll be able to do that. Also, uh, we are going to try ground feeding uh, some creep every day to them at the rate of about two pounds per animal and hopefully that will uh, enable us to uh, have them put on some weight as well so our first goal is to get these guys moved out of here come on gang no don't go in there you dumb dumb hi busted all right No, don't go in there. Hey, for some reason this cow, calf. Hi guys. Okay, now we just got to get them through the corral system. Which means we want them to come down this way, through this gate. This is a lot like when we precondition, but we're actually gonna take a bit of a turn up here because we're gonna bring them into the tub just like before. The big difference is once we go through the tub, we're not going to go straight. We're going to make a turn here. There we go. And, oh, that's squeaky. We're going to take a turn, head up this way. and into a trailer, which I'm not really sure how many 
calves I'm going to be able to fit in each trailer. And that's going to each trailer load. Uh, so we're going to be back and forth a few times, but we'll get them. We'll get them loaded. Well, let's go get some calves. Where did I put my shaker stick? Oh yeah, it's way over there. Here's our first group. I think about 15 calves or so. We're gonna see if we can fit these guys in the trailer. Let's get these guys moved up first. Come on. Come on. Hey, can you fit? Back it in. Okay, get your head in there. All right. I'm gonna lock the back gate there so it can't come open. And then we're gonna head down the highway just a little bit and take these guys to a little pasture to get rid of them. I kind of lost count of how many we actually fit in here, so we'll count them when we kick them out. And then that'll give us a pretty good idea. I think I could have probably fit two more in that front compartment, but we'll find out. First group to get kicked out. Here we go. Come on out, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. You shy? There goes seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12. I'm pretty sure I could have fit 14. Alrighty guys, take off for a bit. I'll bring some more friends, okay? So if I can fit 15, maybe 14, that's what? Nine trips, 10 trips, then we're gonna do this back and forth thing and bring some calves over here to where hopefully, uh, I'm hoping the horses or the other steers that are in here come out and see what they're doing, but we'll find out. And we're back. All right, another load ready to go going very smoothly, if you ask me. 
nobody did, but I'm just saying. Very smooth. What the plan is, is uh, once we get all these guys across the road, then we're gonna grab a bale of hay and we're gonna get them fed. We also have um, a new type of lick tub that I've never fed before. It's called Ionolix, and I'll tell you about that uh, once we get all these guys moved and we'll get that out. And uh, hopefully that'll wrap things up for today. And then we can head into our Thanksgiving break and be fat and happy. And so will the cats. That's a tight load. I think I'm, I don't know how many I have in there. Let's uh, let's get over and get these guys open and count them out because I think I got a ton in that load. So it used to be back in the day when we would do this, we would actually just drive uh, not drive, but drive, like move the cows across the highway. We would just take them from that gate across to there. Back in the day. Now, with the amount of traffic and everything else on this highway, I mean, we're much better off to do it this way, even though it takes a little bit extra time. But uh, better safe than sorry. I would hate for somebody to come flying up over the hill and, and uh, take out a few calves. That would not be good on either side of the equation. So. This way, safer, easier, takes a little bit longer, but sometimes that's the cost. We're back over with another load. This is our big load. We're gonna see how many we actually squeezed in here. See if we can count them as they come off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. cows in that load. That, that's an accomplishment. Like clowns coming out of a car. All right, one load left and then we're done moving calves. We're going to go grab a few treats for them and get them fed. Uh, but uh, let's get this last load done and we'll move on to the next part. those guys are loaded up. Let's go drop them off. And then we're going to grab the tractor, 
on the feeder and some lick barrels and head over and get their nutritional needs taken care of. <laughs> That's our next step. There they all are. Spread out a little bit. And that's not even all of them because I saw two, two loads that we brought actually took off up this direction. So I don't know where they went, but number 64, there goes Peanut. Yeah, he's got the door messed up here in the middle. Hold on. back over here on the other side of the road uh i've got the truck kind of put away we've got our uh hustler equipment bale feeder all ready to go and ready to feed those calves over there the next thing that we're going to do is actually uh, get a medicated lick over for these calves uh, this will hopefully get them a little bit of a head start as we head off into their uh, you know separation from their mom obviously they they're weaned off to this point they're ready they're eating grass they're eating hay but a little bit of medication probably wouldn't do them any harm we're going to take a look at this medicated feed i've got it in here and the one thing that i did notice is that we're not going to be able to do it and the reason uh, that we are not going to be able to feed this stuff is because we have the horses over there uh, with these calves uh, and right here on the label says do not feed to equines so what this is though is it's called it's an ionolix it actually uh, includes 28 percent protein but it's for increased weight gain uh, in pasture cattle so stalkers feeders anything like that um, i'm guessing it must have some sort some sort of uh well this is the big thing is this uh uh lilo acid uh which I, I don't know what it does but you know what you're told by vets to do what you got to do and and uh but here's the problem is yeah we can't feed it to the equines which means we can't put it in uh because it'll do something bad to the horses but hey that's uh part of the learning process and also the fact that you know the reason that you read the labels on these type of things so while that's a good idea for our calves it's not going to work with where they're at so we're gonna jump in the tractor. We're gonna run over there. We're gonna drop some food for them anyway. And then, like I said earlier, uh, we are actually gonna start supplementing this feed uh, with some creep at the rate of a couple pounds per day per calf. That um, will get uh, up and running here within the next couple of weeks. I kinda of wanna get them used to being over there and, and, and happy and all that kind of good stuff. So right now I've got two bales here on the Hustler feeder. Uh, this one obviously still has the net wrap on it. We're gonna drop this one off and leave it here. This one is the one we're gonna go over and feed to those guys and I'll uh, be able to show you how this thing works once again, since I've been using it for a couple weeks here and, and I actually really do like it. Uh, there's a couple little things that uh, are a little tricky, that a that little bit of a learning curve and we're gonna talk about those things coming up in future videos. But for the most part, works really slick. So let's drop this bale and then we will get over there and feed those calves. back out putting that hay right back out into a windrow is actually uh, conserving the feed the cows aren't trampling it as much they're not pooping on it and all that kind of good stuff so it seems to be uh, a very very uh, useful addition to the ranch in terms of being able to save uh, the feed and the amount of and the amount of money that we're putting on the ground for the cows to eat but I'm looking forward to and I'm waiting for a good snow to do this is I'm gonna actually unroll a bale 
with the, uh, the traditional, the old bale roller that we had, and then use this thing, do it side by side, and then be able to come back, you know, after an hour or two, and see the difference in, uh, in how well they clean it up. I think that's going to be very interesting. All right, we're tooling down the highway here. We only have a half a mile. So there you have it, the calves have been moved to the other side of the road, that's their moms up there on that hill if you can see them way back there. They seem relatively happy, of course uh, they're working on the weaning process, they would still be happy if their moms were with them, but they are eating grass. We have a whole bunch of calves that are apparently still have to figure out that we came over and fed them, but uh, they'll get here eventually and, and everybody will be fat and happy. Speaking of fat and happy. We hope that you guys have a great Thanksgiving. We're gonna take a few days off, but uh, we will be back to it uh, next Tuesday as we bring you a brand new Cost of Ranching 2020 video. Stick around, that's coming up. So make sure you subscribe, follow along, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Of course, uh, check out the website, artwellinglife.com as well. Thank you guys, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life.